Hello, I am Naresh. In this video, I will show you about customer permissions in a service management project. So imagine I am a customer for this Atlassian request project. So and I am a developer in this organization. So I want a new project uh, for our team. So therefore, I am creating this request. I am going to create this request to our Jira administrator so that he can create a new project for me. So let me write uh, the details uh, new project let me fill this form so i don't have any attachments to add this mm, okay so now oh i cannot uh, able to pick uh, the username here uh, my manager name i am unable to pick my manager name rajesh so how to do that and let me uh, see here i can see that email therefore i can write uh, the email id of my manager uh, so let me try it correctly. Okay. Oh, what is this? Jira server 77 at gmail.com. No user's form. So I cannot, uh, even I cannot write email. Uh, this is hard. So this is the uh, issue uh, from customer side. And immediately he will write an email to the Jira administrator about his problem. He is unable to create a request uh, you know, by using this form because he is unable to pick his manager name and this is a mandatory field if it is not mandatory anyway i can able to create the request the customer able to create the request submit the request but here the problem is he is unable to pick uh, the manager's name so this is the use case my dear friend so as a jira administrator we need to solve this problem for the customer therefore he can submit a request uh, successfully so i'll show you how to do that uh, so in this video i will act as a customer and i'll act as a jira administrator also so therefore uh, please bear with me i'll play uh, two roles uh, to solve this issue so now i am customer for this uh, project now i'll become project administrator for this project so to become project administrator you need to go to the project and if you go to the people section uh, there you can simply add uh, my name here so g naresh so now i have become now I have become administrator to this project. Therefore, I got full access. Therefore, if I click customer permissions here, uh, you can see that. So first of all, uh, you need to uh, see the customer sharing option. So uh, this is primarily responsible uh, for not allowing the customer uh, to, uh, to pick uh, the username of his manager. So customer sharing is the primary, primarily responsible setting. OK, so we need to uh, uh, find uh, the root cause of this problem. So here, the current configuration, the current setting is uh, customers can search for other customers within their organization. So my dear friends, uh, here Jira is restricting or it is, uh, you know, uh, imposing a restriction to the customers. So that is, uh, they can only search other customers in their organization. OK, so actually, so if you uh, if he is a member of any organization my dear friends keep in mind this if the customer is a member of any organization in this project what happens is he will get uh, a sharing option uh, to a uh, to that organization so he will get one more option right here about uh, sharing this request to, to the members of the organization actually we are not seeing anything so as a customer, I don't see any organization here. Therefore, uh, he doesn't have, uh, you know, or he or he's not a member of organization. Okay, so that is uh, clear. So he is not a member of organization. Therefore, he is unable to find members in that organization. So my dear friend, so if he want to find his manager through this field, remember that the customer must be a member of organization and his manager also the member of the same organization then only he can be able to find his manager because of this setting my dear friend because of this setting okay so now we will do something so now as a project administrator my dear friends as a project administrator so even jira administrator also can uh, you know if i don't have project administrator privileges i don't even uh, see this customer's option okay so now I am clicking this customer option. Therefore, I can find organizations in this project. Yes, dev team is there. Customer is the member of the dev. So probably his manager is 
his manager would be there yes rajesh is his manager and he is there okay but the customer is not the member of this organization therefore he is unable to pick or unable to choose his manager so what i do is i will add uh, the customer okay so the customer's email id yeah so you need to add customer's email id okay so add this and okay so now uh, the customer also has been added to this uh, organization therefore my dear friends uh, first of all i will downgrade myself uh, just give a second uh, let me go to customers again customers uh, dev team where is me where is this generous customer yeah he is there i need to refresh this yes okay customer is there customer is also part of dev team therefore now customer can able to search rajesh okay because rajesh is also a member of same group or same organization sorry uh, we need to be careful on the terminology because you know jira can have groups and organizations too okay now let me downgrade myself from admin to customer go to people section just remove remove okay so now i have become customer to this uh, project so now what will happen now is if i refresh this uh, page what happens is i am i am able to pick rajesh by using this field and i will get one more option to share this request with my members of uh, the organization with members of the organization okay so i am going to refresh this uh, just leave page so boom see the magic here see you can see the option share with here this is the organization name so i am the member of the organization dev team therefore i am able to see this share with option now if you click here you can find his manager therefore simply he can now he can submit the request to the uh, jira administrator so uh, this is the way for solving this issue my dear friend and uh, i'll show you so now uh, i will turn myself to project administrator project administrator yes now i have become administrator to the project therefore i can click customer permissions okay so if you are not a project admin you cannot see all these options you can see some error message okay yeah so now if i choose this option what happens so here if you if you read this customers can search for other customers within their organizations so what does it mean so actually uh, the first setting and in the second setting up to this is the same okay so instead of checking this if you check this okay the customer will have access for uh, access uh, you know to pick his uh, manager okay let us see that i am saving this okay so now i will be customer let me remove this remove this so now we are with the second setting let me refresh this leave page see if you click here i am able to select rajesh okay with the second setting also we are able to pick manager name and we are able to share the request with the organization members so my dear friends if the dev if dev team has 1000 members they will they will be notified with this request because we are sharing with the dev team okay so all members of dev team will get notification about this request and I, because i am sharing this request with my fellow members of organization okay right so with the second setting also we are able to pick uh, the user Uh, we are able to pick the manager okay so now i will upgrade myself to admin because uh, i am unable to see this customer if you click on customer see here 
the error message because you are not admin so just go to people and add yourself as admin Naresh admin add okay now go to customer permissions so now this is the first part of the second setting my dear friends so because of this part only the customer is able to pick his manager name okay and now here you, you can see that R manually enter the email address of other customers within their project so Jira is allowing the customers to enter the email address manually okay uh, did you remember that with the first setting we were unable to enter the email ID also we tried to enter the email ID but we weren't successful right but with the second setting we are able to enter the email address manually let us try this so before going to try this I will delete the organization because uh, no no need to go to settings here customer customers is there so simply you just click on this delete or remove button therefore our organization will be deleted from the project okay so I have removed the organization let me go to settings and go to customer permissions so now we are in the second setting and we are not eligible for the first part because we don't have organization in this project remember my friends we are not eligible for this first part now because we don't have organization right now because I have just now I have deleted that organization so we are not eligible for the first part so we need to depend upon the second part the second part is manually entering the email address let us try this option uh, let me downgrade myself to the customer so remove this remove and go to the portal and refresh this leave page so now see here the share with option has been disappeared why because there is no organization in the project and i am not also member of that project uh, i am also not member of the organization okay so here i am unable to pick rajesh and see here enter an email at, uh, address to add a user so if i add uh, the email id of uh, gmail.com let me add new project so where is it jira servo jira servo 77 at gmail.com so now you are having an option to add if you click here email id will be added to the uh, manager name field and if i click on send so now the customer is able to submit a request to Jira admin. Why? Because Jira is allowed or um, customer is allowed to enter the email ID of his manager. So see here, Gantala Rajas. Jira automatically picks the username of the email ID. So that is the magic of the second setting, my dear friends. So I'll upgrade myself to project administrator administrator just add this so now customer permissions yes i can able to see so this is the importance of second setting okay the first and second settings are nearly same but second settings gives an extra ability to add an email id of uh, your manager or, uh, or the user uh, to whom you are searching okay so this is the second settings importance now let us see the third setting customers can search for our other customers within their project or organizations okay so this setting uh, is you know even if you don't have any organization in the uh, uh, project and even if you uh, don't know the email id of the manager so what happens is jira will provide you full data full data okay it will give you full data there is no problem for you if you just save this and okay so downgrade yourself to the customer remove this okay go to atlassian request go to new jira project and refresh this 
So now if you click here, what happens is you will be able to find the Rajesh including other users in the Jira. See here, I am able to see Rajesh, I am able to see GN. So I am able to see this email ID and this email ID, extra customer. So the full user access will come to you. So you can easily pick Rajesh and you can submit the request to Jira administrator. So that is the beauty of third option.